There are many ways to use the 4-4-2 formation, from the midfield shape to variations in the type of approach, offensive or defensive. The use of the 4-4-2 has undergone several changes throughout history, from the traditional physical and vertical style of play to the flexibility we have today. There are various ways to use the 4-4-2 formation. We have the 4-4-2 with a diamond in the midfield, which can also be called 4-3-1-2, the one with a square in the middle, which can also be known as 4-2-2-2, which was characteristic in Brazilian football, and the traditional one with two lines of four, which we will focus on in this video as it is the most commonly used 4-4-2 formation in the world today. This system is very versatile in terms of player characteristics. The classic flat 4-4-2 formation, closely associated with English football, was based on physical and direct play. It had a solid defensive line, box-to-box -box midfielders, fast wingers who focused on beating the opposing full-backs one-on-one and getting to the byline to cross the ball, and two strikers capable of finishing crosses and competing for long balls. Obviously, this model has become more flexible and modernized over time. The 4-4-2 formation accommodates various player characteristics and collective playing styles, such as high pressing, medium block, low block, possession-based play, direct play, and more. For example, one of the strikers, over time, started playing as a floating second striker and, in some variations, became the number 10 in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Another example is the wingers, who can also be players who move into the half spaces to create more space for the full backs to overlap. Furthermore, they can also be players with a stronger defensive focus to double up on marking the wings, along with the fullback, when the team is defending. Not to mention that nowadays it is very common to see defensive midfielders playing a different role from the traditional one, dropping between the center backs when the team is building up from the back. In conclusion, there are various facets in which the 4-4-2 formation can function. But before we delve into these different ways, we need to understand the logic of the 4-4-2 formation. And to understand the logic, we need to understand the context in which it emerged. How did the 4-4-2 formation emerge? Although it is a system closely associated with English football, the pioneer of the 4-4-2 formation was a Russian named Viktor Maslev, who was the coach of Dynamo Kiev in Ukraine. And the inspiration, in a way, came from the Brazilian national team, who won the World Cup consecutively in 1958 and 1962 and played in a 4-2-4 formation. As anything that works usually starts to be used on a large scale, many teams started transitioning from the traditional WM formation, which was previously almost a standard, to also using the 4-2-4 formation. And to gain an advantage over the system that many teams started using at the time, Maslev dropped the two wide forwards to the midfield line, creating a well-balanced system collectively that stood out against opponents, especially due to the advantage it had in the midfield. A significant enhancer of this advantage created by Viktor Maslev with the 4-4-2 formation was the emphasis on physical preparation, which allowed for a more aggressive marking, making the so-called extra players make an even greater difference. In fact, in the following World Cup, the champion England, led by Alf Ramsey, lifted the trophy while playing in the 4-4-2 formation, with a style of play where physical and tactical aspects were decisive. Defensive Variations of the 4-4-2 Formation Although it has been associated mainly with defensive play, especially when you hear that a team set up with two lines of four to defend by parking the bus in front of the goal, the 4-4-2 allows for other defensive behaviors as well. There are also ways to defend with a high block using a 4-4-2 structure. Some teams employ high pressing by marking opponents tightly, often resorting to a slight variation to a 4-1-3-2 formation when the opponent uses a deep-lying midfielder dropping between the center backs. In this case, one of the central midfielders moves forward to mark while the other provides cover from behind. Another example is when the team aims to box in the opponent's central midfielders, forcing them to play out wide, with intense pressure from the two strikers, cutting passing lanes, and providing cover. And, as everyone knows, the two lines of four are very useful for defending with a low block, as seen in versions of Atletico Madrid, with the famous playing style favored by Simeone. Now, we will show you some examples of mechanisms that Atletico Madrid used in previous years under Simeone's leadership. 
These mechanisms may not necessarily be the same as those used currently. Simeone sometimes prefers a more passive marking approach. The team stays compact in the middle to force the opponent to try to circulate the ball outside the lines, in order to lure them into their pressing zones, which are usually the wide channels. When the opponent enters this zone, marking overlaps occur, with the wingers doubling up on the full backs. That's when Atletico becomes aggressive in their pressing. Moreover, when the opponent tries to play through the lines, the markers try to close down the receiving player quickly. Offensive Variations of the 4-4-2 Formation The 4-4-2 formation also allows for offensive variations. From a team that plays long balls to one that prefers working possession with shorter passes. It all depends on the characteristics of the players the team possesses. For example, if a team has strong forwards and fast wingers, long ball tactics can be effective. There are also teams that like to attack with great width, allowing the full backs to join the attack. In this case, the wingers need to move into the space between the opponent's defensive lines. The more the wingers move inside, the more overload is created in the middle, and more space opens up in the wide channels. There are also ways to balance defensive stability to prevent counter-attacks. This can be done by alternating the full-back's forward runs, with one full-back providing width while the other forms a back three with the center-backs. In this case, the winger on the side the full-back moves forward can come inside, while the other stays wide. If the wingers are more central playmakers, one of the central midfielders can drop into the defensive line, while the wingers form a trio of attacking midfielders with the other central midfielder, while the full backs provide width. These are some of the many possibilities when using the 4-4-2 formation. As mentioned, it highly depends on the characteristics of the players in each position. A player's characteristics can determine their role on the field. And a player's role can greatly impact a team's dynamics, even when playing in the same tactical system. If you want to see an example of the role a midfielder can play and how it can certainly have a significant impact on a team's collective game, I recommend you watch our video on Medzala, which is popping up on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like down below, it only takes a moment. And consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the content. Big hugs and see you next time, thank you.